a melanoma is one of those tricky things in that it, it, may, it may not have any symptoms at all. So in fact, probably the vast majority of them don't in terms of symptoms that people would actually be aware of. Like uh, sometimes symptoms can include um, pain, discomfort, bleeding, itching. Um, the main one that people would be familiar with is, is uh, change or new, new things or changing things in moles. So um, that, that can sometimes be a clue if you've um, had a long-term mole and it's been stable for a long period of time all of a sudden its appearance starts to change, whether it's getting bigger, darker, change in shape, colours, those sort of things. Or if you have a new thing that's popped up that has never been there um, previously, those are the biggest clues to detecting a melanoma. But um, sometimes, and I'd say a lot of the ones that we find on people, um, they're either unaware of or had no symptoms of it. And uh, we just you know, happen to pick it up on our, on our routine skin checks. There are probably three broad areas you could consider. So one would be genetic factors and there may be some people that have a very strong family history of certain kinds of skin cancers particularly melanomas that may have some genes that predispose them to developing uh, to high risk to develop to developing these things environmental factors which basically um, sun exposure and probably geographic factors as well so where um, someone lives uh, in the world or in australia um, in comparison to somewhere else, and that sort of comes back to potentially the amount of um, sun exposure they've had, um, whether it's growing up or, or currently.